If we did this session a year ago, everyone would have said that would have been the biggest story. Interesting that only Jeannie mentioned it. Did that mean we made too much of it or it's still too early in the game? I was just involved in self-interest and uh, my self-interest is not <laughs> right. primarily in gambling, gambling right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so th things haven't changed. Ditto. That's good. <laughs> right. So, I mean, you're, you must be paying attention to it on the programming and on the part. Yeah, absolutely. Side. Look, we, we, um, I, I do think it's a significant development in uh, the sports media business. I think it's emerging. I think there's more to come in that space. Um, I think we have in the early phase here, hyped it probably a little bit more than maybe it deserves, but at the same time, I do think it's gonna change the complexion of, uh, of the sports media landscape in ways that are significant, both from a fan perspective, league perspective, sports media entity perspective. I mean, we ourselves have waded in uh, and do more content now directed at, uh, at the sports gambling audience than ever before and we'll, we'll do more in the coming months and years as well. And on the advertising side, there is money to be had? N no question. I mean, look, if, if you have an interest in reaching uh, sports fans, uh, the way to do that from, from our perspective, and I think we back it up with numbers, uh, based on reach and scale is, is via you know, ESPN's properties across the board here. And so if you want to speak to or talk to or connect uh, with the sports gambling public, uh, I think we have the best platforms to do that, bar none. The zone getting into gambling programming. I think so.